What's up, man? Welcome to the Stolen's bus. What's up, guys? We're the Stolen. I'm Kevin. This is Rob. What's up? Uh, this is our bus. Um, we're on tour with Jake Miller right now. So we're going to show you everything that this is about. But um, yeah, we got some brews here. Um, our homies. What's up? Cabinets. Cabinets. Okay, so Gary, uh, who is Jake's merch guy, loves to work out. He's got his bro teen right here. Um, we love PB&J. We've got some PB&J going on. Some chips are in the back there. So we got trusty microwave. Um, I get a lot of use out of this. I love my microwaved goods. It's capital. This is one of Dom's dad on vacation shirts. He's a dad, in fact, on vacation. Fiesta style chips, because everyone likes a good Fiesta. Oh, back here. This is Scott, our uh, Jake's tour manager's uh, foreman grill. He loves making quesadillas the for best everybody. Quesadillas. He's like kind of like tour manager slash chef of the tour. He's a phenomenal cook. And if you look closely at the countertop, we have our handy bottles of Jameson and Ciroc. Courtesy of Walter. Yeah, courtesy of uh, Jake's uh, bass player Walter, probably one of the nicest dudes ever. Um, now here is our really well-stocked fridge. We've got some uh, almond, milk. almond milk and some iced coffee. <laughs> coffee creamer. Oh. Crab cheese again for Scott's famous quesadillas. You no, know, we got, we got mayonnaise marks. up here. You never know when you're gonna need to rub mayo all over. <laughs> Thomas. So then, round two of the fridge here. Dominic here is not vegan, but loves his vegan burgers. I tried vegan burgers. And they're delicious. Like, oh, they're Honestly, pretty good. Same, so yeah. They're way easier to cook on a tour bus than regular burgers. Down here, this is like the leftover cabinet. We got some soda, salsa, leftover catering, and hot sauce, and I think there's milk back there for cereal. You clearly see we are living the life with our fridge here now. So oh, this, this bus is very, very high tech, so I'll see you later. Yeah. So now while he left, there's actually a little fun fact about this bus. This bus, our, our bus, this is actually a loaner bus right now. Our bus broke down three miles from where we had to be in LA. So this is actually Mariah Carey's bus. So uh, thank you, Mariah Carey. She also left us some snacks. She left us some seaweed. She left us some pretzels, some juice boxes. So. I don't know if they're hers or her kids, but she left us some snacks. Thank you, Mariah Carey. Now we have Bunk Alley. Um, number one rule of Bunk Alley, which we're not following back here, is nothing on the floor. You know, you cannot leave anything like shoes because people trip over it at night. Crow is yeah. the worst. He has shoes, towels, shaving shirts. Cream. Shaving cream. <laughs> but, so my bunk is right here in the Actually, middle. That's my shoes. I'm usually, the bunk is usually made, but I'm, I usually like to say organized. I got my shoes, um, face up always. You can't have dirt where you're gonna sleep, you know. Um, and then at night, light off, curtain closed, and that's how we sleep. Yo, you I'm, I'm, I'm Dom's uh, downstairs neighbor. I said downstairs, not downstairs. All right, so my bunk's kind of messy right now. That's my blanket, cool. some clothes that belongs in my day bag. Nice little laptop in here. Guitar strings courtesy of Ernie Ball and Dunlop. And if there is one tip that you could have for sleeping in a bunk, Besides, you know, keeping it clean. At night you get thirsty, always keep a water bottle or something just stashed away. So whenever you need it, you don't have to run up to the front of the bus while we're moving at night and you can't, you know, can't see and all that stuff. But you head back here. Mike's bunk is up here. The sheets are off. Yeah. It's kind of dirty. That's I might have the sleep. messiest bunk, actually. Um, I kind of just throw all my clothes over here. <laughs> and I'm really tall. I don't even know how I do it. I just kind of pass out. My sheet's falling off. I'm a mess. <laughs> um, but yeah, they didn't give me a TV either. So I probably have the worst bunk, but I like being up high. That's nice. <laughs> There's my bunk. Back here <clears throat> is uh, is Jake's room. It used to be a back lounge, it's but the suite. We're gonna close that because you know he's got his things top out. Top secret information so it's top secret on in there. Back there you know? He's running the government, man. But yeah, that's. Uh, she just tore Jake's <laughs> Jake's room right now <laughs> yeah. without a part of the closet. But yeah, that's kind of where we're living for the next month. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. Go ahead. It's been great. So about a year ago or so, you can watch on Digital Tour Bus how we toured in our old van. Was it Victor at the time? Victor. No, it was Curly Jefferson. No, it was Victor. It was, it was our old van, Victor. Uh, basically, for this tour, we've been sharing this bus with Jake. We also tour in our luxurious conversion van, which- It's a 1995, you, so you know, we are, we are high rollers here living the life. Again, you can watch that video in previous digital tour bus episodes. Yeah, and I definitely would say we stepped it up this tour, mm -hmm. I don't know. How we finagled our way onto this bus. I like the vibe. <laughs> it's great. We just kind of like snuck on. Yeah. We, we, we snuck on one day and Jake was like, yeah, sure, we got some extra bunks. It's not how it happened, but like, you know, we, we could say it is for a good story. Yeah. But, yeah. All right, yeah, well, we just want to, uh, typical stuff, we want to thank our fans for everything that they do for us, you know, whether it's coming out to shows, getting merch. Um, 
streaming us on Spotify, buying music, whatever it may be, without our fans, you know, we wouldn't be, you know, seeing our way onto buses. So, yeah. you know, we owe a lot to them. And, uh, you know, it's always great 100%. getting out there and seeing them. And uh, we're stoked to see more of this tour.